बीत गया उसका सत तुझे बताना अनिवार्य है मोहनजोदारों का तारक है तू About 150 years ago, when railway lines were being laid down in the western part of Punjab, which lies now in Pakistan, the workers stumbled upon old buildings. These buildings were made out of bricks, which were of really great quality. So, what did the workers do? Well, they decided to use these same bricks for their railway line construction. Now, during that time, Alexander Cunningham was the director general of ASI or Archaeological Survey of India and he was really intrigued by it so he wrote a report on it then let's see what happens after this well this same report that was written by Alexander Cunningham was read in 1911 by John Marshall who was then the director general of ASI right and he was also really intrigued by it so he sent Hiranand Shastri to survey the place and what did Hiranand Shastri find well, after surveying the place, he found several seals and realized that this wasn't a civilization that has been found before. It was completely brand new. And so the people in ASI were really excited about it. And in 1921, Dayaram Sani, who is responsible for the city, discovery of the city of Harappa, went there and started excavating. Right? Now let's see what happened after this. So what happened next? Well, the next year, in 1922, R.D. Banerjee went and excavated another place near Harappa, right? And so what did he find? Well, he is credited for the discovery of the city of Mohenjo-daro. He even named it himself, right? This city is there on the map, which was part of a larger civilization. This was the Harappan civilization, which lies in that part of India. So now, let's go and learn more about this. The Harappan civilization existed right here in our own Indian subcontinent about 4,500 years ago between 2,500 BC and 1,500 BCE. Where was it? Well, it was right in this portion which you can see here. Right? And it was close to the river Indus and its tributaries. Right? So because of this, these people had fertile land so they could grow their own crops. They even used the mud that was there in the Indus River to build their own houses. So this is why these people settled here. Two of the most important cities in this Harappan civilization were Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, which you can find on the map right here. These were the two most important cities and Harappa, as we have already seen, was the first city to be discovered. And this is why the civilization is called the Harappan civilization. Other important cities include Rupar, which is in modern day Punjab, Kalibangan, again in modern day Rajasthan. Next was Lothal, Rangpun and Dholavira, which all lie in present day Gujarat, which you can find right here. So from that, we can see that the Harappan civilization had several important cities. And so we can understand that even so many years back, we had one of the first urban civilizations in the entire world right here in our own Indian subcontinent. However, it is important to know that the Harappan civilization's cities weren't discovered in a single time period, right? In fact, it took several years starting with the city of Harappa which was discovered by Dayaram Sahani as we have already found out in the year 1921. Next year we had the city of Mohenjo-daro discovered by R.D. Banerjee 1922. A few years later Kalibangan was also discovered right 
This was discovered by Dr. A. Ghosh in the time period of 1955 to 1963. And in the same time period, Lothal was also discovered by S. R. Rao. Next, Chanhu Daro was also discovered by Dr. Ernest Mackey in the time period of 1975 to 1977. And in the same time period, Banavali was also discovered right, by R. S. Bisht in the same time period as Chanhu Daro. And finally, the city of Dholavira was discovered by J. P. Joshi and R. S. Bisht in 1990 to 1991. So we can see that the Harappan civilization had such important cities and we only got to know about it some time ago, right? So did you know the names Harappa and Mohenjo-daro of the two cities were given to the cities in later times? So these were given to the cities when they were discovered and after the rediscovery of the civilization because we don't exactly know what these people called their own cities as we haven't been able to decipher the language or their script. So we can see that the Indus Valley civilization or the Harappan civilization flourished right here in our own Indian subcontinent around 4500 years ago from 2500 BCE to 1500 BCE. It is important to understand that before this the historians used to think that with the coming in of Aryans in 1000 BC, the story of India began. However, this Harappan civilization links us to a time period which existed even before the Aryans. And so we can understand that the story of India actually began with the discovery of Harappan civilization. And it is also interesting to know that its language or the script hasn't been deciphered yet. So when we decipher its script, we will get to know more fascinating facts about this amazing civilization. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.